Browser-based software exists, which allows teachers to create an animated presentation. This software could can be considered rapid e-learning tools in that they allow teachers to quickly and easily create digital teaching resources. Animation can make your presentations more dynamic, help emphasize certain points, make content more memorable. In particular, animations excel at illustrating specific concepts in a specific way. They do this through presenting material in a very visual, step-by-step, -step, attractive and dynamic fashion. To begin using Powtoons, go to powtoon.com and from here you can sign up. You can also log into Powtoons account using Google or Facebook. Once you've signed into Powtoons, if you want to, you can begin using templates to me immediately start to immediately start developing content. To do this, simply click on the templates area on the left hand side and select a particular template from the selection available. If you wish to use any of these templates, you can simply click on the edit the if you want to use any of these templates, you can simply click on the edit this template button, which will allow you to use that template for your animation. If you wish to, you can also import a PowerPoint file, which will form the basis of your animation. To do this, click on import in the left hand menu and select the option to import a PowerPoint file. Upload your PowerPoint file and you will be able to begin using this in your animation. You can also create a brand new animation by clicking on the create option in the menu on the left hand side. From here you can select the type of animation that you want to use with horizontal being similar to a PowerPoint presentation. The first step in creating your animation in Powtoons is to select a specific style. This will give your animation a general look and feel. In the animation creation area the interface will appear something like this. You can add additional slides over on the left hand side, similar to how you would a PowerPoint. You can preview or move through your slides animation using the play button at the bottom of the screen. One of the first steps in creating your animation is to give it a background. You can do this by clicking on the background item over on the right hand side. From here, you can select a category of background and select this to add it to your animation. To add characters to your animation, simply click on the character item over on the right hand side and from here you can select the style of character and simply drag and drop them to add them to your animation. If you wish to, you can use the menu item here to change their pose or to make them bigger or smaller. You can drag the character around the scene to identify where they are positioned. You can also add in props and shapes using the menu over on the right hand side. You can also search for what you're looking for using the, using the search bar at the top. Like with characters, you can simply drag your props onto your animation to add them there. You can use the settings available to change their shape and their size. You can add text to your scene in a similar way to characters or props by clicking on the text option in the right hand menu and identifying the type of text that you'd like to add. You can change what the text says by typing into it and you can move the text around your animation by simply clicking on it and dragging it. You can change the size of the text using the item here when the text is selected. You can use the playback bar at the bottom of the screen to determine how long or how short your particular slide should last for. You can add seconds or remove seconds using the buttons to the right of the timeline at the bottom of the screen. You can also select when your characters or text or props enter into the animation by clicking on them and then moving their position in the timeline to a specific point. You can determine how the characters animate into the scene by clicking on the arrow icon at the beginning of the character in the timeline and identifying how you want them to come into the scene. 
You can see what this looks like by moving the timeline bar or else by pressing the play button here. When you're happy with the animation that you've developed, you can preview it, save it and share it using the options in the top right corner as well as being able to export it, to download it as a video file, as an animated GIF or to upload it directly to YouTube or to Vimeo. You can also download it as a PowerPoint. For language learning purposes, animated software can allow you to present words and graphics or audio and graphics together at the same time to help identify vocabulary and guide pronunciation. A common use of animated software for language learning is also to create scenarios which may be useful for presenting the learner with specific language in a specific context and asking them to engage or interact.